Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be doing makeup for flamboyant gamine body type. And if that all doesn't make sense to you, I'm gonna link down below my body type series. Before I start my makeup, let's first remember what does it mean flamboyant gamine body type. So if we talk about yin and yang scale, it is the overall balance of a combination of opposites plus some extra yang smallish broadly angular physicality along with a youthfully bold and brassy essence that's from the book they're normally not tall the bone structure is broadly angular square shoulders slightly wide bones large hands and feet in proportion to height slightly sharp arms and legs may be long in proportion to height very defined musculature unless overweight lean and strong straight lines flat bust line and hips unless overweight slightly sharp or broad facial contours nose jawline cheekbones broad or long facial shape may be very round or slightly oblong facial flesh tends to be taut unless overweight lips are frequently from moderate to full all right now i'm gonna be doing my makeup so as usual the foundation is done i'm gonna apply some translucent loose powder so when you as a flamboyant gamine are contouring your face you can choose darker shades for contouring powder the only thing here the contouring should not be sharp just blend it enough but it also shouldn't be in the rounded motion so i'm applying those straight lines somewhere in the middle of my face so it will slightly go on my cheeks after i've applied those dark lines i'm blending them very well of course as i always do this i apply some on my forehead just to make the color of the contouring powder more uniform of course under my chin on my neck as far as the nose, normally flamboyant gamines have very different noses, so I contour it like I usually contour it, slightly thinner and shorter, but keeping it sharp. Now I'm gonna make my brows. Defined brows is a great thing for them. They should not be thin, but they should not be very thick and undone looking. Best if they have some shape. You don't have to try and emphasize rounded shape of your brows. If your brows are on a straighter side, it can give some character to you. Before I apply black mascara, of course, I'm gonna apply some lash primer. You know why? Because we're gonna make our lashes thick. It's gonna be the thickest lashes out of all body types. While my lashes are drying, I'm just gonna make my lips darker and give them the defined shape. Now I'm ready to apply loads of coats of mascara. I'm applying it slightly on the tips first, so the tips would kind of grab some paint. And then I start applying mascara from the roots. And I make several coats of it on my top and on my bottom lashes too. So I think that would be great daytime look for flamboyant gamines. If you don't want to overload your face with makeup, however flamboyant gamines look amazing with bright makeup, not everyone wants to wear heavy makeup all the time, so that's a good solution for you. So this is my next attempt to do more flamboyant gamine hair. Now, before I continue my makeup, let's see some signature makeup tips from famous flamboyant gamines. Penelope Cruz. She already has that contrasted coloration, so we have to keep that in mind too. But the overall makeup of her is always very distinct, very clear, crisp, bright, and a bit chunky. Her brows are always amazing. Makeup with nude lipstick, still very dark lash line, matte colors, defined cheekbones, and crazy hair. They look amazing with that. On this picture, amazing red lip lock. Man's suit, again, towel hair, eyes still have some makeup, black lash line, great eyebrows and amazing bright red lips. This is my favorite. I love this photo session of her. Again, we can see matte colors, amazingly lined eyes. You can see it's almost unblended. It's kind of that smoky eye, but with lighter color on the lid and amazing pale lips. On this picture, you can see also crazy hair, matte colors, clumpy lashes, slightly untidy down smoky eye. Looks gorgeous. And the waterline here is very dark. On these two pictures, again, very defined eyes. On the first picture, it's very smudged and very blended, however, very dark. And again, pale lips, not too much shimmer on the lips and no shimmer on the skin. And on the right picture, again, the smoky eye is almost unblended and she has that very defined dark crease color. So they look amazing with that trick. I'm gonna show it to you in several minutes. Lily Rose Depp, from my viewpoint, she has very interesting face, very unusual features, very wide bones on the face, big eyes, kind of small and cartoonish lips, and tiny nose. Very interesting face. As far as her mom is also flamboyant gamine, I can see sometimes she's trying to repeat her mom's makeup from the 90s. She's using those warm brown colors, both on eyes and on lips. She loves to do that. Her brows are always chunky. This is her red lip look. Also, on the right picture, she has that smudged eyeliner and red lips, but still very black and defined lash line, even though her coloration is light. Again, unplugged brows. On the left picture, she even has some gloss on her lips, which I think looks very retro and very cool. She always has those half-closed, dreamy eyes, kind of sleepy and I don't care kind of a look. 
On this two pictures, again, very classic look, but as far as she has those big brows and some strange and chunky elements of her outfit, that looks cool. Her face is good for those experiments, for those weird makeup looks. And on the left picture, just look at how heavy and how dark she made her top lid. And the rest is very pale. So that very crazy accent looks great on them, on their bone structure. And again, on these pictures, she loves smoky eye. Dusty matte lips and very interesting color for smoky eye. Debbie Allen, also amazing example of flamboyant Camille. Huge eyes and she was making her eyes even bigger with that smoky eye that she did. Here I just wanted you to see the difference. Flamboyant Camines, they do look strong, but if you place them with other women, they look smaller just in general. So here on those two pictures, you can also see that smoky eye that she loved to do. And when she got older, she still was doing that very bright smoky eye and look how gorgeous that looks on her. Even when she has that both eyes and lips and chunky earrings, that looks amazing. Of course, Audrey Hepburn. She has such a signature look, so I just didn't want not to mention her. Now look at this makeup. It's very classic old Hollywood kind of a makeup. However, it's more 60s-like makeup. Also matte colors, chunky eyeliner, clean lid, which looks amazing. Thick brows though, very childish bangs, and very crisply done lips. Here's another example. Chunky eyeliner, almost empty bottom lid, big accent on the brows, almost no lips. Here we can see that very defined crease line. I'm gonna do it on myself soon. It was very 60s makeup. Even when she got older, she was still doing that. Very chunky lashes, thick eyeliner, and thick brows. Back to my makeup. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a second type of makeup on myself, classic makeup. First I'm doing that black line. I'm making my line thick and I'm making my flick thick. Not necessarily elongating my eye, but making it slightly more Audrey Hepburn-like. And if we talk about the inner corner of the eye, you don't have to apply the line on the inner corner of your eye, but in this case, just check. If you look slightly cross-eyed, then add the line there. From my viewpoint, the best thing would be if you add the line there, because the whole eye will be very defined and from the distance, your pupil will be in the center of the line and it will be very clean look from the distance. Now I'm gonna take that Ruby Woo MAC lipstick. I got those samples in the shop one year ago and I love this Ruby Woo so much so from time to time I use it from here but I still didn't buy full lipstick for myself so I'm gonna do that soon for sure. It's my favorite red and it is so matte and velvety looking so sometimes I even feel that I can overdraw my lips just with one lipstick. Then I'm taking those matte eyeshadows. Now I can choose whichever shade I want. All these three lighter shades are very good for my crease for that type of classic sophisticated makeup but if your skin is darker of course take darker colors maybe dark gray or dark brown so I'm applying it on my crease with middle-sized brush this basically so my eyes would not look empty in comparison to that chunky eyeliner I also added a little bit on the bottom okay so my classic red lip look is done Going back to my nude lips to prepare my face for smoky eye. And actually, that's another great look for you. Classic flick on the eyes and pale, dusty and matte lips. Now I will add that dark gray color. I'm gonna emphasize my crease. Remember we talked about it? So I'm applying that dark line on my crease. I'm almost not blending it. I'm taking that pencil brush. Then I'm taking a smaller brush and in the middle of this line, I'm adding thinner black line. So this is how I kind of create that crease accent. So it looks a little bit like 60s makeup, but I'm still gonna blend a little bit. So it would not look as cartoonish. So of course, make sure you have enough space between your lash line and the brow. The crease normally is somewhere in the middle. And if you feel like you don't have enough space there or your brows are too low, you can just make same thing, but cover your lid completely. I will show you in a minute. And this crease line should not be harsh by the nose. So take a Q-tip and blend the beginning of it. So it would kind of start from nowhere. Otherwise it will look very unprofessional. Another great look to go. Okay, now let me accentuate my waterline and cover my top lids with gray matte color. So we're making that smoky eye even heavier. So this is another look to go. However, one last thing. We're gonna elongate our eyes like Penelope Cruz. So I'm gonna slightly elongate my flick and then I connect that bottom line to that flick. And in this case, as far as my eye is elongated on the outer side, I'm gonna elongate it in the inner side. Again, just to balance the look, to make it more clean looking and to avoid cross-eyed look. I'm adding some mascara and I'm good. Slightly tousled hair is never a bad thing for flamboyant gamins and asymmetry is a key. 
I hope that was helpful for you guys. If there are some flamboyant gamins here, please let us know what kind of tips you have. If you love some retro music, some classic rock, you're welcome to subscribe on my music channel as well. You can also support me on Patreon. That would be a huge help for me. I upload some exclusive videos there sometimes and I answer your questions there. So please welcome. You can subscribe on my Instagram for just random stuff from my music and from my makeup life. You can also subscribe on my Pinterest where I have 13 boards as an inspiration for each body type. It might help you to get a better idea about the body types in general. Also another announcement. Now you can sponsor me right here on YouTube. So if you like what I do, if you want to support me, you can subscribe and sponsor me or unsubscribe anytime. So first you will get early access to some of my videos and then in the future I'm gonna add up some more exclusive. I might do some live streams or Q&A's with you guys so please join.